necessary evil of a document. It's a little, can be a little um, intimidating to people, but if you go through it, it actually has some very good information out of it. Um, I'm a big believer in the MSDS. <laughs> Uh, basically, it says who manufactures it, um, the dangerous components, that's what we list in section two, um, if there's anything in there that's required by law to be listed as a dangerous material. Um, if there are any hazards identified with this, this is considered an irritant, so if you get it on your skin, it will con be considered an irritant. There are um, other levels of hazardous warnings on that. The MLD inks, and I guess I didn't touch on this um, at the beginning as much as I should have, are, were kind of, were, were kind of, they were designed um, as a sort of a competition or to counteract to go against the OEM's eco solvent inks, which is a term that we have never used here um, because eco solvent, yeah. the way that the <laughs> OEM dis define, or has their solvents they have, we wouldn't really con consider so eco. Um, they are still solvents. They still contain volatile organic compounds, um, as do our mild solvent inks, our MLD inks. They have a much lower odor, I'll agree to that, um, but they are still very aggressive solvents and the hazard that people can run into because of the fact they do have this low odor is that they will not take the same precautions as they would with other solvent-based inks and that's where it can be, become a problem. So are they cyclohexone free? Yes, yeah. these are, yes. But you do have other volatile um, organic compounds in there that will off-gas and you will have the solvent effects of, you know, if you're very solvent sensitive or if you're in a confined space with this, if your you know, head is right in the printer day in, day out, you will run into, you know, headaches, exposure issues, et cetera, if you're not careful. We have, you know, situations where somebody says, oh, you know, I can't work around your solvents, but then you also start getting a history that this person might be immunocompromised for some reason, you know, if they're a smoker or, or if, you know, they have asthma or something like that, any irritant, and the solvent is considered an irritant even though they might not smell it, um, you know, so just always kind of try not to react with, with fear or alarm, but just information, you know, we just want, you know, if it's in a, if it's in a well ventilated environment, if they've taken precautions and you as a, a printer dealer have advised them properly and, you know, make sure you have good ventilation. Anyways, so keep going through the MSDS, you know, firefighting. Again, these are just more just good informational things that should anything happen, you've got the information. Safety glasses, if you think you're going to be around it, um, you know, poten potential spills. Usually when you're going through a conversion, you know, you're not going to really have a reason for it to kind of splash back, but you never know. It, it won't hurt to have the safety glasses on um, for your own personal protection. That's pretty much it. This is pretty generic. A lot of it's regulatory information that we have to carry in here, but that's kind of the most um, important parts of the MSDS.